Hi, my name is Steve. <laughs> I'm a lean trainer here at SnapCab in Canada, and I'm here with Glenn, once again with Glenn, the founder and CEO of SnapCab, and we're sharing stories from Japan. We recently returned from uh, a trip to Japan with Paul Akers and his two-second lean experience. And so we're trying to share some of our experiences. Glenn, right. what are we doing today? So this is the last in a series at Mifune. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the grocery store. So Glenn, when you say grocery store, I'm thinking produce, meats, boxes of cereal. But that's not what you mean, is it? No, it's, these, it's those plastic cartons with metal parts that are going to go to Toyota to build cars. So why do they call it a grocery store? Because that's the way their Kanban system works. It's a pull system. So imagine if you went to the grocery store and you pull a can of beans off of the shelf and then they'll come along and say, oh, the, the beans are low. Then they'll take a, some beans out of a crate in the warehouse and replenish the shelf. And when the crate gets low, they'll order more beans. And so it's a pull system. Yeah. So, so, the, so those metal parts are a pull system just the way a grocery store is a pull system. Right, okay, so this is kind of a warehouse or the, the supply station where Toyota has their parts picked and then Mifune then realizes, hey, we need to produce more of those parts. That's right. And in a way, what's interesting about the grocery store, you could say it's the end of the process or the very beginning of the process. Yeah, okay. Because my understanding of how this grocery store works is that orders come in to Mifune and then they go down and they take the order down and they grab the parts out of the grocery store, they print a, um, they print a paper Kanban card from the customer, mm -hmm. and then they take the plastic one out of the box, they put the paper one in, then that box gets trucked away, and then that plastic one goes and reorders another box from the internal systems to make more of those parts. Right, because there's just an ongoing need for all these parts. That's right. And so there's a tremendous volume flowing through this grocery store or warehouse, small warehouse, surprisingly small warehouse for thousands of parts, mm -hmm. and they're shipping out hundreds of millions of parts a year. And right. so this is kind of the, the stage just before they leave the facilities. But this, this warehouse only has a few days worth of stock in it. It just keeps moving through very quickly. Yes, it is really quite the process. So let's get to the video and look at this place. Great. Okay, so the last part of the lesson, this grocery store. So this is the daily schedule. We just implemented something new here to do the Kaizen. And I, as, I don't know if you can I don't know if you can tell, but these are not Japanese. Everybody is from overseas and they cannot read Japanese character. So we simply, I wanted to make it simpler so I don't have to speak Japanese. So A, it's your job. B is your job. So what is A means? This is the customers coming at what time and picking up which part. That's what it, it indicates. This is the lunch. Lunch time, break. 15 minutes break, 15 minutes break. Wow. That is amazing. That is, wow, Sugoi. That is incredible. I think this is a fabulous visualization. You can walk up here and instantly, I don't even read the language and I can understand exactly what's going on and what I need to do. Phenomenal. So here's your here's your defect right here, number of days without a mistake. Yes. So we're sending the correct parts to our customers without any defects for 189 days. And this year we sent... Uh, sorry, th it says th this year, but actually this was last year to Twice. Only twice, one twice. last year, twice. Last year, twice. Wow. Last year, twice. Two. Uh, uh, the whole year. Right. It year. wasn't even a defect. It was uh, sending the wrong right? part to the customer. It wasn't the part was bad. They mispicked the wrong part. Right. Right. Uh, the only the different the mistake that we made this time was left or right 
and they look very identical. So now we're so going to show you how they solve the problem. We'll show you. So the problem was left or right. They picked the wrong one, and then they put in a countermeasure, and we'll show you the countermeasure. It's really cool. But before you go, go every morning, every morning they gather here for the morning meeting, and they want to commit today also no defect. Ah, so this is how they do it. Declaration. Yes, declaration, zero defect. So they put this. Now he puts this on the floor like this. You guys are people working here. Just imagine. Okay, so you follow what he's doing. Okay, together. So you put your right foot, yes, and then circle, become circle, and then point. You using your right, right hand or left hand, whatever. Point. Then we speak together, but we will demonstrate you first. So you can only say yosh. Yosh. Yosh means good. good. Yosh, practice. Yosh. 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 Okay? Yosh. So he will read it. I will explain what that means. And then you say yosh together. Okay. There are three things that you have to say yosh. Okay. Hi. Yosh. Yosh. Wrong. The first one is wrong parts. We do not ship. Zero shipping wrong parts. And you say yes. Yeah? Right, one more time. Yes. Next, yes. next one is Kanban, the right product number, sample confirmation. Yes. Good. The, right, the, let's do the second together. Yes. The third one is calm down. Do not, uh, do not uh, miss. Stress out. No, no. Don't think that you are right. How do you say? Yeah, don't be overconfident. Mm. Don't, don't overconfident. Zero rushness. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's do one more time. Yeah, okay. mm. We will, right now. <laughs> Point out. Yes. 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 Ah, yes. <laughs> Sugoi. Wow. This is every morning when we start. You change your mindset by doing this. So we, we have to do this. We cannot stop the skip this. Point. So as we walk down these aisles, you'll see the visual controls. They have the part numbers and the same thing. They're going to take this cart down here. They're going to have their paper Kanbans. They're going to hold them up to here. Right? They're going to hold them up and they're going to check every point. Boom, 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 boom. Then bring it over here. Double check it again. Now, what does the white one mean? We've learned this triangle Kanban. What does this mean? What? Finished product, it's been stamped, but it doesn't need to go to welding and it doesn't need to go where else. <laughs> welding or stamping? What blue? I wasn't additional stamping was blue and, and, and welding was red. So it doesn't need anything else. This part in and of itself is good. First in, first out, they everything gets done. Then they get loaded in here and then they bring them through. Okay? And then the left and right parts, the way they deal with that is they, here's the left part. Let me just see. I don't know. I can't read this. No, these are the same one. They separate them. They put them on the opposite side. So you really have to work hard to get the left and the right part. Okay. So these specific two parts have two knots. Okay. Two knots. Right. And then red means uh, these two knots welded here in this plant. Green means these also two nuts welding was done by the south yeah. plant. Yeah, the south plant. Okay, boy, that's interesting. These are low volume parts along this wall. These are high volume parts along this wall. Okay, and they're making over 1,000 different parts for Toyota at any given time. So right now you're seeing customers' Kanban. So these Kanbans will be attached to the bins and they will be shipped from here. それは、あの、直接スタンピングから来て、
もうここでお客さんの看板つけてシッピングするやつです。Do you remember the triangle 看板 that the white one, what the white one means? The white one means finished product. Exactly. You know so they will receive stamped one here directly. So what they need to do is they need to attach customer's 看板 to the each bin. So、right. those are the bins. And、right. they are preparing by the, according to the schedule、right. to be able to ship. Right. And again, those people don't understand the Japanese, so he put all the, not the letters, but ABC characters. These are the customer's Kanban, the paper ones right here. Okay, they've been replaced. So this is an order that's being pulled right now. They're going to go on the truck. Let's go that way and I'll show you what's next. So these are orders that are prepared and built for the trucks in these rows. These are the paper Kanbans that the customers, this came from Toyota or the tier one supplier. So all these are printed in their Kanban room. I'm going to show you their Kanban room so you can kind of connect the whole thing in your mind. Okay, let's go. These are custom machines that have been developed by Toyota. This is a, just a big roll of paper. It cuts it and it prints the Kanban. This Kanban card is, is produced and it goes out to shipping. We got one time use, one time use. It goes out to shipping. Shipping says, okay, I need 500 of these parts. So they go over to the grocery store and they pick 500 parts. Well, when they pick 500 parts, what happens when they interact with that bin that's on that rack in there? What happens? What happens? No, what happens? They, they pull a Kanban card. They pull an internal Kanban card. I want you to visualize what's happening. They've got a paper one. They're going up to the bin. They pick 10 parts. The bin's empty. They grab the what? They grab the internal Kanban card. They pull it out. Okay? They put it down there. The water spider comes and picks up that internal Kanban card. Goes ahead and takes it to the Hojunka board, their place where they determine their production for that day. And then that just keeps cycling around and around. So every Kanban is queuing everything all the way along. Let's say they have 100 Kanban cards in the system, but their production varies between 80 and 90. Okay, so today they have to produce 90 demand, tomorrow they have to produce 80. So they have A, a, a margin of Kanban cards that they can introduce into the system depending upon the demand for that particular day. If you really want to understand the concept of just in time, a restaurant is the best place because you have a perishable product, you have something that has to be as hot and needs to be delivered hot. This is what we're, this is what we're having. And she's making it hot. People that are restaurateurs are really forced to think in a just in time fashion. If they don't, the customer's not going to come back. Our final experience with Mifune. What stood out to you in this little segment here that we watched today? You know, going through the whole series of from when they take the order, then seeing all this manufacturing and all this quality. At the very end, it goes out the door at the grocery store. I was kind of like trying to put it together how this all works. It was a great description Paul had of using an, a restaurant where you place an order. And get the kitchen to make you an order just in time. Which is what Mifune is doing with Toyota. I love their communication board and I love that Yosh thing. Yes, yeah. Yosh means good. Yeah. So they, they, they go over what's important to them and they all say together, good. Kind of like、uh, getting the team together before a game and rallying、yeah. around their, their goals that they want to accomplish that day. I wonder how we could do something like that. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to work on it. Yes. yes! The other thing that was interesting is that they've hired people largely from Brazil,、mm-hmm. I think one person from Nepal, and they had to figure out a workaround from the lack of them knowing how to read Japanese. So they changed、and、some of their processes、yeah. again to accommodate the Hankaten of 
people not speaking Japanese. He made a poke yoke, a workaround. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that was really interesting. Anyway, what a what an experience to go to Mafuni.